Welcome back to Sleepover. My name is Daniel Cabral. I'm Vince Caldera. I'm Luis Lamus. And guess what, folks? We are actually back. And oh man, uh, Luis, I feel like you're a little dark. So make sure to come up a little bit. Come, uh, come. I might. What if I'm just a dark person in general? You know, you might be a little you're dark. like just evil. Yeah. Oh yeah. You yeah, can. like you have a dark soul. Mm, you know, yeah. uh, I'm actually light skinned, but I'm a. Finish yeah. that line. Huh? Finish that line. Don't finish it at home. You I'm, coward. I'm finish a, it right I'm now. I'm light skinned, but I'm a dark figure. You I like know? the. I like dark calling figure. people I'm a, coward. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm a, wait, you, you are you uh, Vince? You seem like the kind of guy that who, is a coward. Uh, no, I mean, no, you're not a coward, but uh, I think you you get spooked by like what, like what? I mean, we all have like fears of things. But like, uh, what do you think scares me specifically? Consent. Consent. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Commitment. Like, commitment. Commitment. Loyalty. I think. Oh, just yeah. relationship thing. Relationship. Yeah. yeah. Oh uh, man. You've been with the I same. Mean, relationships girl. are difficult. Tell your girl that you love her. Uh huh. I, I tell her I love you every day. Really? Really? Yeah. I went yeah. Wait, why is that a surprise? When's like, it? aren't you supposed to tell? No. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying that I'm no. doing it because I'm supposed to. I'm saying it because I mean it. I like to like, remember the last person I said I love you. Well, uh, the last girl, you know. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Damn. Not even your mom. No. Because your mom. No, my mom ignores that shit. I'm like, hey, mom, I love you, and she's like, okay. Oh really? She yeah, didn't say she, it back? Nah. Fuck oh, no. that's crazy. I can't even imagine. I, I tell my dog I love him. I say that's why I love everybody, bro. He, <laughs> does he, he, says does it he back. say it back? He does. He's like, bark, bark. cap. You're nah. capping right now. Uh, right? Elvis. Uh, Elvis Posse. Uh, do we want to tell him the update? Yeah. Uh, apparently there was a dog named Ozzy that lived in my house, <laughs> but uh, he has transitioned, and people need to respect his new name and his yeah. new pronouns and his new things. You know, so I love the full name. His if name I'm, is. If I'm being honest, his, I love the full his, name. I know. I know you guys weren't on board originally, but his full name is Elvis Posley, and you know why? Because he's the king. I think I was just not on board because this has been like almost a year and then you decided no, to like change the it's name. It's not been a year. Well, I mean like like it's been like six months. Because even when you like adopt a dog, they retain the original name that they had, right? Or, That's stupid. Oh no, no unless, been, unless they've been trauma, unless they've coming been coming from the guy who reused the dog yeah. name. I recycle. No, they, they don't rename you when you get when you adopt a dog. You actually you, get a new is a new name. Between recycling yeah, and you, 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 you change his name. You always change. Like I getting, think it's because of the trauma of like the old name. Or yeah, something. yeah. You change yeah. and the and, and Ozzy was had, he had some trauma because he was uh, being a bad dog. But Elvis Posley, <laughs> bro, you had him his whole life. <laughs> Good boy. Where the fuck else was he getting trauma from? He was getting trauma, bro. People. We're being trauma to him. You know, being trauma to him. We're being trauma, man. You know, it's crazy. You know, I'm gonna be feeling trauma after this because we're only we're less than three minutes in. Yeah, and I am sweating so much. Oh, dude. really? Hey, but you're wearing like the clothing that like people wear in hotter climates. I yeah, know, like in movies. And I stuff. think it's because I took some shit this morning. What did you take? So I did took you like take? I'm taking vitamins again, bro. I'm taking some shit. Well, um, what are the vitamins yeah. that you take? The shit that makes besides you, like steroids. The stuff that makes Creatine. you uh, the stuff that, the stuff that just gets you going. You know? Yeah. I oh, you w- took rhino pills this morning. Every day I take a rhino pill and I just type. You know what I mean? And I write. I write material. Yeah. Because right? I'm fucking up the game. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I mean, you are. Yeah. yeah. Look, you have so many great things happening Speaking to you. Speaking of fucking up the game. Yeah. We're here. This is the first time we've recorded in a while. And guess what happened recently? Oh, what happened? oh yeah, it's massive. Vince Caldera. Yeah. Performed yeah. in front of a capacity crowd. Yeah, that was me. 300 sold out tickets, I think, right? It was like 100. Don't even, don't even, don't don't even correct it. Oh, yeah, crazy. 300,000. A, a, a capacity crowd, right? And you finally recorded the uh, debut album, Big Vinny Style. Yeah. And it's, uh, it, oh man. It's, working working title. it's a working title. Louis yeah. Lamas presents Big Vinny Style. Uh, Louis Live Le- in Highland Park. Live in Highland Park. Oh shit, what's left of it? Uh, you know? yeah. <laughs> Dude. That was such a fun show, man. Anybody that didn't, that wasn't there. We're really living in a post up and coming world right now. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. You're you're up and coming, but shit, you, I'm on the come up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know? That's a direct quote from yeah. the Yeah. Oh my God. Album, Did you yeah. It's you, a very quotable album also. Oh, we didn't, you didn't bring any of the bags, huh? Oh, no, I didn't. It's I, okay. Do you have any left over? Yeah. I have, Shit, I have, I have, I have only something. a few left over. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I need to buy one. You yeah. sold so many? Yeah, I sold a lot. Yeah. Damn. What would you make? Did you put your name on it? No, I didn't put my name on Did, it. Was that a, a, a decision or was it like, oh, I forgot? It was a choice. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. What if you put your name like inside so people are like, oh, this is who I... Uh... Well, because like, I feel like with like... The phantom thread. With, like, you, you sew it on the inseam or something. Yeah. yeah. I feel like with like fashion and stuff like that, because it's like a tote bag, you don't really own anything because people are always going to take your ideas and turn it into something else. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're I don't like, want to... You're like, I already took the shit from Ikea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no point in someone else taking this idea. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. You remind me of Virgil Abloh, dude. Wow. That uh-huh. means a lot. Yeah, I look. I look up to Virgil. You're dead to me. Uh, <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> funny. Uh, what do you call it? No, she it, really ain't been the same since Virgil died, though. I it, stopped buying Louis bags after Virgil passed. Oh, when Vir- I think Virgil died when I, I was in Seattle, and I was like, "Damn, that who really died." Now, in Pop Smoke is looking at him, just like, "Bro, come on, man." <laughs> what like was the album with, cover? What man. was up with that album that? cover? Nah, Have I mean, you decided on your album cover art? Uh, I here's the thing: is like, 
I feel like I'm iffy because I think like if I shoot a, a certain picture, then I think the recording company owns the picture. I wanted the picture to be um, myself lighting a firework with my dad on our street. I remember you telling me right? that. Yeah. But uh-huh. I feel like if I could maybe make that a GIF, like a moving image, mm-hmm. then I can maybe use that for my own personal use. Oh, okay. But I think I should find something else in the neighborhood that also like is equally powerful. Damn, that would have been crazy if your album had like a holographic cover though. Oh, I would love a lenticular Where, like, thing. You, fucking, you move it and then like the fireworks go yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That'd, be, yeah, that'd be perfect. I think I'm just going to edit a cheap one. It's going to be like Vince with bar, like a picture, the picture of you with a polka dot jacket. And then um, with a barbed wire like around. Yeah. Or, or it's like the 50 cent cover where it's like bro- a broken glass with like oh, a bullet hole going bro, through. Bro, that's so cool, man. I'm going to do the image not available. Is this the question mark? <laughs> oh, what, yeah. If you just did like a Yeezus thing. Like yeah, a, Yeezus cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be really cool. Or like it's blurred out of you like fucking. Virgil made that album cover. Yeah, No, 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 no. He, I mean. The did, Yeezus he designed album cover. the packaging actually for that. Oh, okay. Virgil yeah. did? Yeah, for Jesus. Yeah, yeah, he did a lot. I mean, it is. It's an iconic cover, but it's also like this motherfucker, dude. I don't. I still am on the fence about <laughs> Virgil like, Abloh. I'm really honest. It man. seems like you know you did it the day before the project was due, yeah. sort of thing. The, but and it's I, also like you, you kind of like nail it on the head, no, also, I, where you're like, I love the, I love all Jesus. It's probably mm-hmm. one of my favorite yeah, albums ever. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like you go into like if you're you're looking at albums and stuff like that, you know, Dark Side of the Moon without you know without it saying Pink Floyd, it's mm-hmm. the triangle, yeah. the, the prism. Yeah. You know, uh, Rolling Stones has like that 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 tongue mouth thing mm-hmm. and then that no package that that like empty package thing like that's the Kanye West and yeah. you know what it is I, fuck with I, that. I, I feel you dude and look the Drake album that uh honestly never mind folks what an album he could have kept that shit he could, no look here's the thing it's honestly I like it. honestly never mind has <laughs> grown on me because I, I read and I realized that as a tribute to Virgil Abloh it's uh Drake doing like something for Virgil in Virgil's kind of voice you know what I mean so I can't mm-hmm. wait for the day that I die that Vince does another album and people are just like why was Vince called Vince called Darius saying bitch that's <laughs> yeah it's gonna be called kind of problematic kind of problematic <laughs> he's like nah you can keep it that's what they're calling that. <laughs> that'd be crazy like why is Vince Caldera just calling women bitches so much on it, his album it's, it's funny you mentioned this uh, I had a chatterbox set a few weeks ago mm-hmm. and right before I was gonna go up I was really nervous cause this is only a week after you had done this show where oh, yeah, you yeah, had yeah. gotten in trouble for saying some mm-hmm. words in front of a, a West Los Angeles crowd. I'll let the I'll let them decipher what that means. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, they yeah. got a bit offended during your set. Oh, you know, I, wait, 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 wait. You, you, when you, the way you say it like that it makes it imply that I said the f word, which is I know oh, what no, I said. No, this no, is no, not. No, no. I just I did. The I mean, game. I feel like you can just kind of explain the context, and it won't. Like, yeah, you don't I, have to I, read yeah. I did. The bit. Daniel said no slurs. I said no slurs. Luckily for, <laughs> for the no, 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 I never do. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so I was like very hyper aware of like what I was going to say mm-hmm. on stage Yeah. and the day of the chatterbox show, I didn't want to do a specific joke. So I needed to fill time and I decided to do my WNBA joke mm-hmm. and in my WNBA mm-hmm. joke, I say I the word this. bitches and hoes a lot mm-hmm. and I was really fucking nervous before my set. Mm-hmm. But luckily, they threw up some random food for five minutes right before me and he just called white women bitches for like five minutes straight. Did it do well? <laughs> He did all right. He, all right, he was yeah. cool. He was good. But then I was like, all right, I'm, I got free reign. You know, I'm going to mm-hmm. say bitch like two times. Like, mm-hmm. I'm going to be good. <laughs> These bitches can ball and those hoes can hoop. Yeah. I love that. I yeah. love that joke so much. I was happy to finally get on tape. Yeah. Do, I think we all have a joke where we say the word bitch in it at least one. Yeah. Yours, you. This yeah, but Vince is this like way guy, over the line. This though. guy's crazy, dude. He's like, bitches be saying they be getting. <laughs> no. <laughs> man, man. These bitches, they out here, man. Like, they deserve less. For me to be like on CNN and then someone's like, Vince Caldera has been using the word bitch way too much loosely uh, oh you should just move bitch get out the way yeah I'm, I, which I'm is the one quoting. curse word you said for your whole album yeah <laughs> that shit was heavy bro that shit would have blown down the roof if this man would have said that shit was heavy that's my one curse. you can See, literally that, say shit on tv that's, that was my argument that's why it's a 99 out of 100 that's <laughs> that's why uh, uh, you know what i mean that's fantano reviewing the that's album that's so funny uh, I, I should send it to him uh huh. Bro, I can't stand that guy. Oh, dude, I, I did this uh, show on Friday, right? It was like mm-hmm. a kind of like a queer show. Um, and then I felt that exact same feeling. I was, I've never been this nervous to do stand up in my life. I was so scared because I was like, dude, I was nervous before Rensa show. Really? Oh, I, I was, was like trembling. Too. Oh, I was, tre- I was, yeah, I was trembling, but I was like, I know that we know everybody here. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. and I know it's going to go well, but this show was like over 100 people. And I already bombed super hard at the Mala show. And I was like, dude, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do that. I texted Vince. I was freaking out. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to do the R. Kelly joke. You know? Okay. I, was like, I, I told you to do it. You I told think, me to right? do it. But yeah. then I did it at the Mala show. And then Danielle Perez was sitting next to me. I was like, I'm kind of nervous. She was like, how come? I'm like, I might do this joke about R. Kelly. And then she was like, 
Daniel. And I'm like, fuck, dude. And I said that? Yeah. I can picture her saying that. Uh And she's like, well, you're just going to do you. I'm like, thanks, girl. You know what I mean? And then I fucking, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do half the R. Kelly joke. And I did half the R. Kelly joke. And guess what? You killed? They like the R. Kelly joke, but not enough. I'm like, not enough for me to continue (laughs) doing it, it, to finish it. So I'm like, oh, shit. This is me becoming a DJ and doing being stand. I'm like, I'm just going to start reading the room and seeing if they want me to do the rest of the joke or if I'm just going to keep moving along. You know what I mean? Yeah, because at the Mala show, you like quadruple down. I did quadruple down. There's there's a thing called growth. You know what I mean? It's like I'm like, because I thought I could still win them back and I was winning them. If I had an extra minute, that shit would have ended tight. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I get that. I mean, I feel like it's it's cool to be able like to recognize when you can move forward with something and mm-hmm. when you can't because that's also I mean I think it shows how good you are too I mean you recognized it you know I recognize it dude and real recognize is real yeah and the boys are first real. thing first mm-hmm. first thing first on the realist first things first you're the real oh is that that's Iggy right that's yeah. Iggy oh man now Iggy is shout it. out Iggy dude Ooh, Iggy doing her thing. She's Have you guys ever seen the clip of uh it's at Dodger Stadium I think where they're like please rise for the national anthem. And then it's like, open up a safe, bitch has got a lot to say. And it's just like an Iggy song starts playing about like popping her pussy. <laughs> oh my Wait, God. Really? Was it by accident or was <laughs> I think someone like hacked in or something. That's you know? really so funny. <laughs> and then it skips, in, uh, but then it transitions to the Star Spangled Banner. Really? Yeah. Oh, what's like a medley? Dude, that'd be really cool if like they fuck, that happened like all the time. Like, they gotta change the anthem at this point. Yeah, dude. like let's, let's say like they're like, please stand for the national anthem. And then you hear like the. Da-da-da! Bam, 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 bam. People have edited that one, yeah. That's so fucking cool. I want to hear that during flyovers, you know? Vamp anthem? Yeah. Dude, it'd be really cool to be like dressed like a vampire, like Blade style. And like just Dylan like, Parr? Yeah, no, but I'm just, I like the idea of you like really loving the idea of dressing up like a vampire. Oh, it'd be like... Not, like Which, there's so many different kinds of vampires, though, oh, you know? Like, and you're like very Christian, too, so like your <laughs> your fascination towards vampires is just so amazing. No, I could, be a, I could be a Christian vampire, bro. I could for sure. I'll rock the cross. It'll hurt a little bit, but... <laughs> I'll wear a wood cross. Yeah. Um, wood cross. What yeah. if you're like a twilight kind of vampire? You know? uh, I wouldn't want to be those sparkling glitter. motherfuckers. Yeah. Huh? I want to be, I'd be a wolf. I'm not, an, I'm a natural werewolf. You are a vampire and I think you're a shapeshifter. You know what? You're like a skinwalker, dude. Yeah, skin I'm, a, I'm a Wendigo. You're, you're a Wendigo because you told me that scary ass story once about the, the skinwalkers that I've never driven so fast. What story was that? Through the desert, bro. You told me that your uncle. Some, oh, yeah. tell, you tell, this is a creepy story. So. Uh, my cousin who's a truck driver one time told me that he was just driving down this really long stretch of highway and out of nowhere, like a group of like 20 people just come rushing out of a field next to him and like are asking him to slow down. But like at that point, like, no, you're not going to slow down to help anyone. Motherfucker you know? kept driving. Yeah, of course. And that's why he lives to tell you yeah, the story. Bro. Exactly. Don't ever fucking slow down for that shit. Dude. Like it's like setups sometimes, right? Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's like, a lot. All right, Dick. Twenty people didn't have cars to like drive on the road. Like, get the fuck out of that here. That is great. Like twenty people was way too much. Like, but like that's a big setup. That's a big. Yeah. You got to get twenty motherfuckers. You know. What if mean? twenty people can't stop the problem, I'm not going to be able to help it out. <laughs> <laughs> twenty people try to wave down this truck. I, I'm not going to be helpful at all. How do you get? How do you get? 20 people to help you murder some but i can't get 20 people to a show yeah like, right. <laughs> oh, you gotta, the, the tickets are free and they're like nah we're gonna murder this motherfucker that's i'm fucking gonna watch the same show i've seen three times at home <laughs> that's scary but yeah sometimes when i'm driving through the desert for a wedding and i'm just like damn what if the wind the, the skinwalkers are just pulling up next to the car and they just pull me out and just start walking it in my skin like i do want to do like a haunted house thing where like i stay somewhere for like 24 hours that'd be a, i would like to do that i'd probably like give it like a buffer until i'd show with you like let's say you you stay in a haunted house for a day, right? A buffer, like like a, like a quarantine period. Yeah, you don't yeah, believe yeah. in COVID, but you're like, I don't want any spirits near me, bro. Like I can't. The one like, time Daniel put, tells you to put on a mask is after you like stay in a haunted house, <laughs> bro. If you stay in a haunted house, you play with the Ouija board, you can't see me for at least fourteen days. <laughs> yeah, at you're like wash your hands days. in my house. You got to make sure the demons are all out of your body. You got to put that shit into somebody else. Well, bro. I, yeah. one of the creepiest things I've heard of like exorcisms is just um. The fact that like sometimes the spirit follows you from somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like and that's I think that's in the exorcist. Like, mm-hmm. oh no, she plays with a Ouija board, but mm-hmm. I had heard something where like, no, it was like the spirit had followed her from somewhere else. Yeah. Well, no, there's like I- another interesting thing in that vein is like um some people believe that if you see like a, a Ouija board being used on television, like say like a YouTube video or, or like a movie, et cetera, that the spirit can actually go through the television set into your home and transcend that yeah that's stupid and it could no it it could because the thing is like covid can only travel through air but a demon can travel through tv through time and space through time and space okay so that's why i fuck with demons but not 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 fauci but because fauci himself might be a demon 
Yeah, you know what I mean? And, and demon time. These bitches are on demon time. <laughs> All the time. I tr- can't trust anybody, dude. Yeah. This is crazy. But yeah, dude, I wouldn't. If you if you went to some spooky shit, Vince, I swear to God, uh, I ain't on the second. I'm, I, I, I'm honest, not, honestly, I think I would want to get myself in situations where I'm like legit like getting haunted or something. What? Why? Like, there was one time Vince invited me to walk across Suicide Bridge. Yeah. And legit, like as we're walking down in the middle of the night, I felt like a presence walking behind us, like step for step. But there was nothing there, obviously. Oh. And I really want to like recreate that. I haven't felt like something that paranormal I, in forever. I've known that feeling before, you know, uh, well, I was in New Orleans, right? Yeah. And uh, I was just walking through the city and I was like, oh, man, I felt this like chill. And you know what it was? Just fucking years of racism and shit like that. Uh, just year, being in the South. I thought you were going to say being next to your ex. No, I mean, no, you no. can kind of feel that. Can, honestly, no, no. I, swear, I, I, like I told that events. I was like, there's a darkness that you can feel. That you're like, oh, this is some crazy shit you happen here. And you don't feel that shit in California because it's always been such a nice place. You know what I mean? How yeah. you in a place? Historically, it's been yeah. never racist. Yeah. No, 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 no. I mean, but like. I know what you mean. Yeah. Like, fuck, sometimes like, you'll just be like driving down the street in like uh, New Orleans or the South and you see like a plantation. You're like, man, there was some fucking shit that happened here. And it's yeah, just dark. It's just like fucking. Scary. You ever seen Tales from the Crypt? Yeah, yeah. Bro, I think there was like a plantation, like movie or something like that. It was something old. Damn, y'all, y'all ever feel like oh, the Crypt Keeper? No. Yo, do the Crypt Keeper? You wake up, man. I feel like Vince would go out with a Crypt Keeper. Crypt Keeper. Crypt Keeper. As yeah. long as they had ass. I know. Yes. I had ass, bro. They had cake. You oh, there, man. I swear, bitches in New York look like the Crypt Keeper. Like they do. They do. Like that bitch. All da- that walking. That, that chick Dasha looks like the Crypt Keeper. I swear to God. See, it never sleeps, mm-hmm. and it mm. looks like it. Now, what's that movie about voodoo? Uh, the butterfly. There's a lot of. It's a it's a Wes Craven movie. Oh, well, it's uh the Serpent and the Rainbow. Serpent and the Rainbow. What is it? The I haven't heard of this. Serpent oh. and the Rainbow uh, kind of like explores like uh, uh-huh. like zombification yeah. and stuff like that in like Haitian cultures yeah. and things like that. What yeah. do they do? Like they like some uh, does somebody die or something? And they bury them for something and then they bring them back, or you can do that to a human, a living person. They right? did like this thing where like they it's like a powder that they put into someone's face and then you technically die. Like you would be like uh, medically described as dead because uh-huh. your heart rate and everything stops, but just very slow down. Yeah, and they bury them. Holy and, shit. And <laughs> tell me that's not fucking scary, bro. That's fucking creepy. You're the talking way- about zombies and shit, <laughs> oh, and that shit so just funny. falls off, bro. The way that the movie ends is very scary because the, the doctor, he's an, anth- or he's an anthropologist, he wakes up in a coffin. Ah. That's terrifying. Yeah. That's scary. Yeah. If I woke up in a cop, like, ideally. Wait, not a sarcophagus? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, the, the like, zombie thing is that, like, you turn the zom- the person to a zombie and they become a slave. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's fucked up, man. It's like, can't we just give up? Imagine dying and you still got to work <laughs> for all of eternity. <laughs> I mean, when you die, you either good or bad. You either serve God or serve the devil, which is pretty bad. Or you yeah. go to purgatory where you're just like, damn, it's just lame as fuck. You're, lame. You're, you're a freelancer. <laughs> when I die, I just want to, would you rather go to hell? Let's say that I'm the devil, right? Yeah. All right, you're like, Vince, man, you were a really good guy, but you never asked for God in your heart, bro. Like you fucking played yourself. So like you could either go haunt bitches or you can go to hell. What do you want to do? I, I think I'd want to haunt people. Really? Yeah. You can only haunt women though. Oh, uh, you know, oh, Vince is for sure signing up for it. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> watch out for Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> you become a friendly ghost. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> Casper. That, that yeah. shit I said at Chatterbox about you and the drinks was so fucking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Daniel and Vince were hosting a show at Chatterbox on Sunday. <laughs> You're an idiot. And at some point, Daniel just announces to the whole entire crowd for all the women in the room to watch out for their drinks next to me. <laughs> Eating a chocolate bar. Look how innocent I was trying to eat a Reese's bar. <laughs> I'm like, what's he putting in the Reese's bar, man? He's a dirty dog. You can't trust people like that because you're smooth, you know? Yeah, awesome. like like Thank a Reese's you. bar. You are smooth, man. You know, you're talking about Casper. Like, that's the dead child. He is. How'd he die? I don't know, but he's always trying to kill himself also, yeah. which, like, really? I don't know. Speaking yeah. of dead kids, do you think it's okay for me to tell a dude's story here on the pod? Probably not. Nah, well, I you think, think I, so. You think so? I think it's fine because you you talked about like another thing that was I think around the same vein of being. What was the other thing? It's been clipped. I don't remember. Was he? Wait. Oh no. What, do you know? It, will he see it or is he? I don't know. I'll sh- I'll send it to him. Okay. Okay. If you Although, ah fuck a, a bug just flew into my. All right. If you yeah. cool, if he's cool, with it, cause that shit was crazy. I was like, holy shit, dude. Why get? Uh, God fucking damn! It's a mosquito. Oh man, that's one thing I can't talk about. Maybe yeah. it's a ghost. There's there's ghosts that are haunting it. It's that bitch. It's the fucking nut. I gotta stop saying that so much. <laughs> bitch. Bitch. That it's a yeah. fun word to say. I want to mention the story. I mean, you mention could. The, and yeah. If, mention no, the, just, who am yeah. I to tell you that you can't say something? Yeah. <laughs> Which is very true. Yeah. Uh, so I heard a, a story recently. Uh, what our one of our landlord's friends. Uh, this happened to him. Apparently, he he had like a uh, girl troubles. And everyone was trying to figure out like where it came from. And apparently when he was in the fifth grade, his uh, crush 
got eaten by a crocodile. <laughs> uh, you guys aren't laughing, but it, you were laughing. That when is you heard insane. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, when they mentioned it, when I heard that in a group, I started laughing very hard. No one else did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I, I th- mean, sometimes you can laugh at something because you're surprised. You're like, what is going on? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, his apparently his in the fifth grade, this dude, his crush was like, oh, I'm going on a family trip to Africa, but I'm afraid to go there because I'm afraid of getting eaten by a crocodile. And then she goes to Africa and uh, gets fucking eaten by a crocodile. Oh my God. She manifested it. Yeah, straight up. You know what I Imagine really- I'm like, man, what if uh, I'm so afraid to go to Africa because then like I'm going to die under a pile of women or some yeah, shit. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so afraid of going to Africa because then all these hot girls are going to make out with me. What if this girl just uses as an out? She's like, man, I'm your In girlfriend. But, but she's like, this guy's creepy, man. I'm going to tell him. <laughs> I'm going to tell him that, like, I'm going to get eaten by a crocodile because the chance ghost, to ghost him, she ghosted him. And then, like, because that's his reason. Like, they're like, why are you so weird with girls? And he's like, because my fifth grade girlfriend got eaten by a crocodile. I'm like, the two don't really go. They don't correlate together. It's like, no, you're just double texting. What does that have to do with your girl that got eaten by a crocodile 20 years ago? You get, took, what, you get, what, yeah. I'm, you get what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't really make sense. I'm like, you just need to step your game up. You know, Cam Kavinsky's got to step his game up, bro. He so, has a girlfriend right now. I know. To yeah. me. The, the teacher <laughs> he's got one no, I'm just uh, that is you know, Cam is a, a Latino man don't cheat I always I've said this on the pod that's true yeah Latino men don't cheat but I know quite a few I'll say it one more time Latino men yeah don't cheat yeah mm-hmm. but a, I, I know a quite fact. a few that have made a mistake <laughs> there's a, there is a difference you know there's a difference dude Vince yeah Lewis mm-hmm. imagine yeah. you're taking your SAT right if you fucking mark the wrong bubble mm-hmm. that's not cheating with, with these bitches using their phones and shit, that's cheating. That's you know what I mean. Yeah, so I'm the SAT. The, if you I, got honestly, wrong. how would you guys feel if a girl you were dating posted their cash app and got a lot of money? Oh, I don't know. If a girl that I was dating posted the. I mean, I'm not going to interfere with the way that she's making money. That is but true. You know, it's like she's not getting that money just for being a good person. You I know? don't know, dude. She's not donating that money. You know. Yeah. yeah. She, and the people she's getting it from are like just thirsty the dudes. Well, well, if I'm if, if she's getting that money and I'm going out with her, I hope that she's using some of that money on me. Yeah. You I think she would? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I've, I've I've had like girls pay for stuff for me before, and I have no problem with it. I feel like I don't think it's emasculating or anything. I think it's cool. I, I know it's it's pretty good. I yeah. love letting women pay for my shit. Yeah. It's powerful. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know, this is what Dr. King and Susan B. Anthony marched together or for. <laughs> or sometimes you do the thing. You're like, I'll cover this if you cover that. That's yeah. a good move. Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll I'll cover the first date if you cover the second date, and then she's like, "Thank will be no second date." <laughs> and I'm like, "Why well, can't I cover all this thing?" Had I had I mentioned it to you guys earlier, where my biggest fear is like, I go on a date with a girl, it like it ends nice, and then she just goes with another guy at the end of the night, and it's like, yeah. "Damn, I just paid for her to eat to get railed by some other yep. dude." That's why being the nice guy we talked about. Well, it. you gave her the energy to do it, so if anything, you're helping out another guy, dude. Yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. Nah, that's like that. a dude. Fuck, you, that's hey, a, that's every ass- single <laughs> other guy. <laughs> that is an assist on the scoreboard, Food dude. Is fuel, dude. He's like, <laughs> yeah. Lewis, thank yeah, you. Yeah, I passed it to the other team. <laughs> hey, they you're remember the Magic that Johnson of this shit, man. You're the king of assists. Well, he I hope they get AIDS. Fuck those people. No, no, HIV. Magic never got AIDS. Never got AIDS. But no, that's cool. I guess if you like, because like she's probably hungry. You know what I mean? And it's bad to do that like on an empty stomach. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? You don't want to get... You don't, you don't want to be like piping and then you hear someone's stomach rumbling. Oh, yeah. It's so gross. Yeah, it's dude. kind of a turn off. You don't want to be deep throat. You don't want to get deep throat. You're like, no, but I would really want is actual food. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Lewis is there to help out. I just want a snack. I I'm, want like a I'm meal. I'm pissed right now, you guys. I just don't want to let y'all know that <laughs> I am heated right yeah, now. That's it's just, not just because this room is hot as shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. No, that is a nightmare. Especially all these Instagram like podcast stories of like the one we were talking about earlier. Oh, about that yeah. Girl. Oh, my God, bro. Yeah, you want to mention it to them? Oh, this, uh, it, I don't think you told me. Yeah, uh, the, the one. It's yeah, like you a, did. A, basically you a girl. It. A girl is sleeping with some guy, and then the guy falls asleep. So she goes to the gas station to see her ex, and her her ex pipes her down. And then she goes back to the other guy, and the other guy eats her out. And then he's like, "You taste so good." And the girl's like, "Wow, he's really eating this other guy's nut and saying it tastes good." Wow. And that's when I was saying, and that's when Clarence. Like was, literally, you describing it, I'm imagining myself waking up from a nightmare right now and just uh, pretending I didn't hear that actually it's happen. Horrible, like dude, you know, uh, it's crazy, and that's why Vince always says that why they deserve less. You know. I remember Vince said, we could always do more to give them less. And I'm like, Vince, now <laughs> is not the time to say those kind of things, bro. Like, we got to band together. Like, I know we, we, all, we all have our differences, but it's like, man, give me a pussy hat. I'll walk with you. You know? I don't even think they make them anymore. Oh, good. I don't want to wear that shit. <laughs> they, they went kind of like out of style, I think. Yeah. yeah. I wonder why. They look like that thing that like the like the kid from Bob's Burgers wears. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Luis? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> 
What happened, Daniel? Oh, I'm just looking at this shit. I, uh, I just, I, I think it's good. I think, uh, I think it's good. Vince, talk. Hey, everybody. Okay, I think it's good. I'm yeah. going to do something. Perfect. Actually, I'm going to leave it as that. All right, continue, continue. <laughs> I just, yeah. I just realized one thing was flipped the wrong way, but it's it's only it's on Vince's, so it's okay. Okay, he's but, loud as fuck. But it should even out. It's, it, that's why it sounds so... Because Vince, if I didn't have it flipped, Vince would be talking so loud. Mm. Vince, you talk really loud, and I like it. Yeah. Uh, I like uh, to whisper, too. Yeah. Uh, your show was so crazy, it made me almost cry how happy I was. Well, is that true? Yeah. Were you moved like I that? Was, no, not not by the shit you were saying, but the shit that we... <laughs> I because well, I fucking have heard the shit. I, feel like like, I don't expect you to like be moved by anything that I say. No, because I because I'm like, I'm like in the room like watching the rehearsal. You know what I mean? I'm just like yeah. the fact that you were landing every single thing. I was in the I was in the back with Lewis like miming it out with you. Yeah, you know what I mean? But uh -huh. we were, like, yeah, 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 we were. We were like yeah, we were, like saying it, like, yeah. who they are, where they're from, and what their business is. I was like, my boy's gonna land it, and then you landed it, and I was like, fuck yeah! I was like, he's yeah. doing it. You it's know? like Guitar Hero when you're matching all the notes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. I was so excited. I was so I'm so honest. Honestly, I'm still so proud. You know, yeah, I don't want to sound like a, a big Vinny dick. Has it only been a week? Yeah, yeah, it hasn't. But I it feels like a lifetime. Have you noticed that, like any extra dick riding? I feel like you sent us something, but people like people oh, have been yeah. attempting to dick ride you now. So, someone sent me an email apologizing. Uh, <laughs> Already, for, for having been, a, having been uh, not the best to me. What a um, shit bird, bro. Yeah, I mean, at least wait a few days, dog. Like yeah. wait till the shit comes out. Yeah, wait for HBO to buy it, dude. Where am I and where are you? That Vince really hit him with that shit, man. <laughs> uh, look you, at me and look at you. Yeah. You really hit them with that. You really, Whoa, you really expect me to read all that shit by <laughs> you? <laughs> You're a dirty dog, Vince, but I like that. It's fun. I mean, I'm excited to see what's going to become of it because there's still so many different steps to go. Yeah. yeah. So. I, f I feel like me and Daniel actually have to make a statement. Oh, yo, what's up? Yeah. I think we have to stand Al Madrigal now. Dude. Oh, Al Madrigal is that guy, bro. I'll watch Morbius 10 fucking times if I had to for this guy. <laughs> You know what dude, I mean? He's a great guy. He is a Latino, great guy. He's a, he's a king. He let me and Lewis really run the sets. You know, he gave us like what twelve minutes or so. Like, and yeah. I, you know, we pushed it did a little more than that. What do you mean we? You know, <laughs> the fuck you mean we? I you, what? What? I didn't run the light. I ran it by a little bit, but I was like, I know they're not gonna kick me I out. I didn't run time. the light. You know, the, I, they, they came to me. They let me twice, but I was like, nah, I waved that shit <laughs> off. I was like, nah, nah, put that shit down. Before <laughs> the special happened, I think I told you guys before it happened, uh, which is like two weeks. Two weeks before the special was shot, mm -hmm. uh, I was trying to sell stuff to have my own money to, to pay for the videos and the camera. So I was literally selling stuff at Crossroads mm -hmm. and pas in Pasadena, I'm just Meet trying to get whatever money I could get. Mm -hmm. And I actually ran into Al Madrigal as I was selling stuff and he's like, come to my office in like two hours. And I told him that I sold a bunch of shoes and I sold all this stuff to have like $4,000 to rent the theater. Mm -hmm. And he's like, Vince, that's a lot of money. And I was like, I know. Then he immediately called up the studio and he's like, I have this guy that's um, putting this stuff together. We should help him. Then he also told me that, you know, if they don't help you, I'm willing to put money out of my own pocket to put Damn. this together. Damn. And then two weeks later, he came through. He helped me put the stuff together. He helped me shoot it. And here, here it is, man. He introduced you. Uh -huh. He introduced me, dude. He did. Dude, that's, that's crazy, man. That's all I'll say. That's RNS, amazing, RNS, dude. dude. All right. Well, let's take a quick. Hey, and no one heard the album. No one heard the album. And they supported it. And they still were just like, man, I just know that shit's going to be a hit. Vince is like, I'm going to need my advance in the next one. You already know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. We are back again. Sleepover. Holy smokes, man. We uh, right now, Vince was looking at his phone and smiling really hard. And Daniel were like, oh, like what happened? He was just looking at shoes. Yeah, mm -hmm. that were like being sold for a steal. Yeah. So I was like, wow. I it's so funny. Like I remember being a teenager and my family making fun of me when like they saw me smiling on my phone. Like, oh, who, oh what girl are you mm -hmm. texting? And like maybe back then, sure, I was I was maybe texting a girl. But now, if like my family does that shit, I'm like, nah, I just saw a great fucking meme, you guys. Damn. What's the next? <laughs> what's, the last, what's the last meme that made you smile like that? Because I, I think I know which one made me laugh. Oh, the Pee Wee one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> it sent us a, uh, a tweet that said she play with my Pee Wee till I'm what is till I become her. Till man. I her, yeah. yeah. That's so funny. That's I think so good. Till this day, some this stupid ass picture that says who up right now wonking their Willy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a picture of Johnny Depp as Willy Wonka. Okay. You've been you've been quoting the minion one a lot recently, oh, dude. The minion that minion meme that trend is so fucking funny, dude. Of the kids, With the going, suits? I like did it. I couldn't believe I actually saw it happen. Like <laughs> you know, you know when you check your story and then you can see like, the regular amount of people that see your story. Let's say it's like three hundred to four hundred. But yeah. that one, like bro, that shit, like nine hundred people watch that story. 
That's crazy. Put the Yeet song on it. Because I did put the Yeet, dude. I got money, dude. What do you call it? I told you this. I mean, you didn't even say the the minion line. Oh, I'm trying to say it. I'm trying to. Oh, I got my rich minion. That's some shit like that, right? No, no, the like. Something about my money grew. Oh, oh, the fucking uh, streets made me despicable, but my my money still grew. <laughs> Is that song actually in the soundtrack? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. official. Uh, yeah, oh, it's, wow. o- it's official. Universal did exactly what Sony tried to do. Oh, with um, the Morbius, the spi- the, oh. bro. They must be flipping out, seeing how like nobody gave a fuck about that movie, and then Minions has people just like going in suits. <laughs> Like it was crazy. It was like a big group of people. They're renting dude. suits for that shit, dude. dude. That shit is f- so fucking funny to me. It's unbelievable. I mean, good for them. Yeah, you know? I, that, like people are like, "Oh, this is so stupid." I'm like, "No, this is hilarious, bro." I was kind of wondering, like, what other angles are gonna do with minions? Because they've had like the rise of Gru. They've had like just minion spinoffs, right? Yeah. So like, what what are we gonna Probably do? Probably minions with, like, too, because minions had their own movie. You know, what this, about like a, a minions, minions right? movie where they're like investigating like hard like crime? You know, like well, like minions. Well, no one ever talks about what the minions are doing between 1935 and 1947. <laughs> You know? <laughs> You're right. Yeah, yeah. really, and, and, really despicable things. And the minion, no one ever talks about what the minions are doing during 1860 to 1865. Well, whose side I, were the minions on? I don't know if you saw this, but um, re- like at the at the hearing, there was actually a minion that testified at being at the Capitol oh, not shit. that long ago. Um, it's pretty. <laughs> but, I don't know, man. The crazy thing is, like, I know it's a crazy. Lot of- he, they they like perjured him. You know, he had to like he was under perjury. Uh, not that's not the right. This, is a, this is a direct yeah. quote from one of the minions I was writing at the Capitol. They said banana. That's what I wanted to fucking <laughs> set up. You just beat me to it. Banana. <laughs> banana. banana. Uh, dude, I think I've told this story on the pod, but I'll tell it again. I was watching uh, the Warriors versus the Celtics game, right? Mm-hmm. With Isaac Hirsch. Yeah. And uh, we're watching the game and they show like a commercial for the minions and the minions are doing their minion shit. And then uh, all of a sudden he's like, why did they show us a commercial for the minions in Spanish? And I'm like, bro, that's just how the minions talk. Do you think <laughs> all the minions are speaking Spanish. It's a mix of different languages, I think. No, actually, it's just the fucking, I guess. But yeah, it's like that. It's <laughs> well, but just, he's like, nope, that's, Minionese. that's Spanish. That is <laughs> that is, he's like a hundred. He's like he goes into like uh, he go, goes to order food at a Mexican restaurant. He's like banana. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's how I actually order food. Yeah, yeah. That, that, Isaac that, looks like the kind of person who could like just read a book and then like learn a language immediately. Yeah, he does. He is a wise guy. He's very intelligent. He's the smartest guy I know. Yeah. No, he's he's the slimmest and he's the waviest. You know what I mean? But what what what, what was I saying? We're yeah. talking about how you like the that trend and stuff oh, like that. Trend. Minions, dude. You know, I, I cannot wait for Lewis to watch. Uh, the famous Lewis switch is what I call it. When Lewis says he doesn't like something, but then immediately is just like, you know what? I think I like this stuff, dude. Because uh, you were hating on my boy Kenny Loggins. I, I, I don't I, think I'd ever heard a playing with the boys. Yeah. Okay. So you don't like Footloose and you don't like Danger Zone. No. But playing with the boys is such a fun summer vibe where you, just, you, you just picture yourself like playing with the boys. Like it's like chasing after sunsets. You know what? I found myself having too much fun listening to it. Like I'm driving, <laughs> I'm bumping it loud as fuck, and I'm like, <laughs> I can't let people see me being this happy. <laughs> Bro, I literally play that shit and I go like 90 miles an hour on the freeway. It's so fun. Damn. I, oh, wait. I haven't even. <laughs> That's a dangerous amount of speed. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, but when you're playing with the boys. What's like, the fastest you guys have hit on the freeway? I think 105. Like 90. Yes. Yeah, I really? like to go fast. I really I, don't. I've only hit it by like 100 by accident. Really? Well, you have to watch Top Gun, and you're, you're going to be like, "Well, I really want to put these people in the danger zone." Mm. Yeah. Bro, yeah. it's like I'll be going 100. I was, I was almost in the danger zone a few weeks ago. I was I was driving. I told you guys this. Uh, right? I was driving in my car, windows down, just like vibing out. Mm-hmm. And then a fucking wasp flew into my car. <laughs> and then I just had like a solid, because I'm I'm scared of like bugs that fly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And just bugs. Mm-hmm. Uh, and like arachnids. Uh, that they're different apparently. Yeah, yeah. So I just in as soon as I heard the buzzing, I just instinctually closed my eyes while. But I knew that the wind would knock the fucking wasp out. So there was a good five seconds. Where I was just driving without seeing the road. You're fucking. And then crazy, just like eventually bro. went away. That's, that's it. I like. Had, I. It's one of those like things where I pulled over and I was like trembling. You know. Well, that's yeah. You're driving fucking for five uh five seconds straight. That's that's crazy. It sucks because like I feel like you're not being responsible doing that because like you don't know the kind of things that that Daniel and I would have to do afterwards. Like I can't say that you got killed by a wasp. I have to be like, yeah, Lewis got shot in his old neighborhood, man, yeah. of all places. I would be like, Lewis died from <laughs> autoerotic asphyxiation. <laughs> Asphyxiation. Yeah, he was jerking off, and then uh, in that moment, I understood like mutually assured destruction. Where I was like, "I'll take us both out," you know. Yeah, yeah. I'll crash this yeah. fucking car and kill mm-hmm. both of us right now. Damn! Imagine that you kill yourself and it flies away. 
<laughs> it flies to your, it flies <laughs> to your it house. It stings your dead body. Oh, but then, it's but like then the, the worst part is uh, the EMTs get there and the new Drake album is playing on my fucking car radio. <laughs> no, no, the EMTs get there and they're just giant wasps. <laughs> <laughs> your pussy is calling my name. So come on, baby, let's not play games. You know what I'm talking about? The Drake lyric. Yeah, that's a good song. I yeah, like I think, it. I think maybe it's grown on me a little bit. It's 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 a grower, much like me. It is a grower. It's a grower. Yeah, it's a shower. grower. Yeah. You know, at first you're like, I don't know if I feel how I feel about this. I'm like, well, at least you're feeling it. You know. But once we once we keep that thing moving, yeah, like, you know what I mean. In motion. Oh, oh shit, people are. Sh- Sean Hackett is texting you, right? You know, here's something I want to I want to get to the bottom of. Yeah. Like, for years, Vince. Let's go for it. Yeah. I have been trying to get Lewis to work out. Right. Um, for yeah. years. And Lewis starts working out with Sean Hackett and his reasoning, he's like, well, Sean has a gym and he explains things really well because it's scientific. I'm like, motherfucker, I worked at a gym. Yeah. And I'm but like, I have, I have a whole plan. I have routine. to get the membership at the gym with you. I was you know? just like, $10 it's, like it's literally like $8 a month. <laughs> I'll give you yeah, $10. But, this is, but this is free. But know? I was just like, I'll do, the, I'll show you all the workouts to do. I'll and get this is you. a mile away, you know? It's like a mile and a half. It's, this is crazy, dude. But oh, I lo- Sean lives near. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice, dude. Man, Lewis Liam is getting buff now. That's a sight that like that's gonna be. You know, Sean and I have talked, and we're actually we're just trying to get chiseled, not really big. You know, that's the thing. But you're still gonna look buff. Like every like every yeah. celebrity, right? That looks like buff, they're just chiseled. Michael mm. B. Like Captain America, you know, like yeah, he no, doesn't. He, look- he's pretty buff. Is he big? Yeah, he's probably. I mean, Chris Hemsworth. Now that's fuck. That guy's huge. Yeah. That yeah. Guy, now, dude, Chris Hemsworth. If I saw Chris Hemsworth in the street, I'd try to give him a hug. You know what I mean? It's kind of sus. Dude. It yeah. is sus, but that guy's like. What else? What would you do to him after the hug? You know? Yeah. Would you go back to his place? I'm fluid, baby. You know, you never know. I'm I'm fluid. Vince, would, are you fluid now? I'm fluid, dude. I think I love fluidity. Think about fluid. Fluidity is way. I've been yes, fluid, man. dude. So I'm all I'm down with the man. June first. Isn't that June, Vince's Waterloo? Nah, this is mine. Nah, I wish it was mine. June first to June thirtieth, dude. I was wilding out, you know. Yeah, you were MIA. Dude. I was MIA in July first. I was like, I put, on, be, a, I put on a suit. I went to go watch Minions. I'm like, back to business. Yeah, I kept I calling got, your phone. Another guy would answer, but like, yo, he's money. living it up. <laughs> he's calling my name. So come on, ba- what's your favorite dr- song on that Drake album? Probably falling back. Really? I don't know. I, don't I, really like like any, I didn't really like any. I didn't really like any of them. I like sticky because I'm just like it can get sticky. Or oh, like, sticky's cool. Yeah. You know how sticky it gets. Yeah. I hate feeling sticky. Uh-huh. Ever feel oh, sticky? it's the worst feeling. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is. Like when I'm eating pancakes and like I get some of the syrup <laughs> on my. Yeah. Well, I'm being. I'm being honest. That's like the worst. I hate it. I feel so gross. Motherfucker, how do you eat pancakes? There's a fork and a fucking knife for that. Yeah, but sometimes I'll put it down. I accidentally touch the oh, fork or the, the knife. Fork. Yeah, the yeah. Sometimes yeah, that, that syrup gets sticky. on the fork they and get it gets sticky. in your hands. Yeah, oh, I'm the I'm the freak for touching. Yeah, that's why I don't ever want to have sex, bro. Because it's just like ugh, I don't like sticky. sticky. That's a good like, sticky though. Girl, you're too wet, man. You're you gotta wet. go. Let's think like, about what you're doing. Oh, like, like yeah. Selena Gomez, get the fuck out of my house. Jeanette McCurdy, get out of Vince's house. Jeanette McCurdy. He's crazy, dude. Yeah, when they they both have to leave, they have to carpool together. Or yeah, I hate that, that, yeah, that's why. Janet McCurdy was dating which uh, which huge Andre Drummond. Yeah, and then she's like, get that. She's like, this guy's a fucking bum. He can't get a ring. She go with Vince and be like, no, this guy has an album. Yeah, that's you true. Yeah, he doesn't have that. Yeah. That's, that is one thing that I haven't beat on. Vince, lit- <laughs> Vince, how's it feel to have like an like I could literally go on uh, my phone in like a few months and yeah. just be like, let me listen to some new Vince Caldera. Uh, I want to I want to be able to release another one in a year, hopefully. Really? Yeah, uh, it's like, like rap life, and it's like today's hits and it's like a picture of vince yeah that'd be amazing <laughs> oh man that's wild that, uh, i've got to get that the nomination dude mm-hmm. i mean look dude the grammys are rigged I'm not, and if you don't get a nomination i'm gonna be like oh the another snub the weekend vince caldera uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> olivia rodrigo just a, more people first macklemore beat fucking kendrick and now this <laughs> that's gonna beat me yeah that's crazy and it, I, I have to do it for george too mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. told him I was gonna do it. George Carlin, George, George Lopez. Lopez. Oh. oh, I thought it was a different George. Which boy George? Yeah, boy George. Yeah. George Lopez should have came to the fucking screen. How many people did you remember? Did you uh, think about all the people that didn't come to this, the place that, that said they're gonna? <laughs> there, come? there were some people that, that uh, bought tickets and didn't show up. It's like dope, dog. We're recording here. At least, at least you could say uh, send someone else. Send yeah. a surrogate. Send a surrogate. You know what I mean. Look, Diego did that, right? Yeah. Di- and Diego, can I stand Diego, a man who's in Costa Rica? He's so stand great. Diego, Look, Diego's amazing because he bought tickets, which is great. <laughs> some people some people bought tickets to my thing using a free ticket thing, and they did not show up. And that's the thing wow. that I didn't want to have happen. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Name names, Vince. <laughs> I can't name names. Can you whisper to my ear? What name One of the it? most important people? Yeah. She did that shit? Yeah. Bro, I'm repping you. Yeah. yeah. I'm your man. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's right, dude. I got look, look, Vince called look, how many opportunities have I got in Vince Caldera in life? So many. So I, many, dude. So many. Yeah. So many numbers I get this guy, dude. So many like so he gets booked, right? Yeah, and then same for same for Daniel, dude. Yeah, dude. No, we're, Vince is Vince is so loyal. He's almost as loyal as me. Yeah, Lewis, do you think you'd be loyal in a relationship? What if you're like a cheater, dude? Yeah, yeah, what if you're like a cheater? That? What if you're like? Wow, well, uh, you you guys are really putting the pressure on me. No, no yeah. I would. A hundred. You, you seem like I would a hundred percent be loyal, you guys. <laughs> I don't. I would never even fucking like. It never even crossed my mind to like be unloyal. Oh, yeah, man. unfaithful. Yeah, yeah. 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 I hate. I, yeah, because honestly, like, I'd stop being your friend if you like cheated. Yeah. Uh, and I would. You yeah. for sure should. Yeah. Yeah. I'm always just like Joanna. Whenever I, I always, I always say I'm gonna do this as a joke. Wait, you and Joanna? <laughs> I always say I'm gonna do this as a joke. When I like take a, like a drink, I'm gonna act like I'm drunker than I am, and I'm like Joanna. Like I just honestly wish he would like. Honestly, never mind. Never, I've said too much. I've you said, would like ruin my life. Like would you just like pretending to do that. Vince actually did this hilarious ass thing after the album recording. A group of us went to Denny's, and Vince was sitting next to his girlfriend, and I don't even know what she did, but Vince just very abruptly said. Don't do that again. <laughs> and like all the other women at the table nah, were just yeah, like, yeah. they were just like shocked. Like, oh no, we supported a fucking abuse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was so funny. <laughs> yeah, I, she like gently bumped into me and she's like, oh, sorry. And I'm like, yeah, just don't do that again, please. <laughs> and then everybody was like, what? And I was like, no, we're kidding. And she was like, also like, hey, no, yeah, hey, we, don't we do be this. sorry, ho, be careful. Yeah, I want to say that, but that, I couldn't. That's what I was like. You know what? I think I like this new Vince. <laughs> That'd be crazy if you become disrespectful after the album. <laughs> Like let's say the album that hasn't been released yet. Vince's out. Vince's ego goes just straight up unchecked. You know, uh, Fifty Cent recorded a whole ass album that didn't get released or something like that. Right? Really, uh, I believe it. Oh, I think uh, like he was recorded. Yeah, because he just talked about fucking vitamin water the whole no, time, no, bro. I think Is that an album that he did? No, no I, I would listen to that. I, How could you write so much about vitamin yeah, water? It's, it's not true. that bad. I love Fifty. I don't Cent. like vitamin water actually. Do you like, I like it. I like dragon really? fruit. Not even the dragon. No, oh, that's that the one I tried one. and I didn't. Fuck dragon with fruit. It. Yeah. What about dragging my nuts across? Yeah. <laughs> that's what it says on the bottom. Too. <laughs> oh no, on the t- on the tab, you know, on the, on the bottle. Yeah. What, what if Snapple just became so uh. disrespectful? Where like on the bottom, it's like, "Go oh, fuck your mother," and it's like, "What?" Like, this, I thought this was a fact. <laughs> it's your mom's a bitch. <laughs> your mom's a bitch. Your mom's a hoe. It's just about your mom all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they need to add on. Is maybe I'll buy a Snapple. Just roast. Oh yeah, Snapple. Like he's just being all snappy. Just yeah. like being uh, yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Don't be informative, nerd. Yeah. Yeah. A man. Why are you drinking a sugary drink? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Why are you? It's like you think that's healthy for you, dude. You think this shit's healthy, <laughs> bro. Some people really think Snapple is healthy. I used to think that, bro. For sure, I believe that. It's yeah. all about Mark. You ever walk into a Whole Foods? You think everything's healthy, but it's like, nah. It just looks nice in here, dude. Yeah. This shit's yeah. the same. It costs thing. twice. Yeah, it costs twice, and it looks nice. Just yeah, like, that's why I thought about college. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, one of your uncles works at Whole Foods, right? Yeah, uh, works at Whole Foods. Yeah. Which one? David. Ah, uh, the one that the I one, re- the one that lost in the house. The one that I have so much respect for. <laughs> and the one that made me buy the house back. The one that has. I had to ch- buy my own house back. The one that has a championship ring. I'm a homeowner. <laughs> Not in the way I would have wanted so that to happen. <laughs> my boy. <laughs> They're like, yeah, you just gotta pay for the same shit you've always had. <laughs> wait, hey, do, do, how about you paid twice as much? <laughs> I was I was living cool. The the mortgage wasn't <laughs> even that much. I didn't have to pay rent for a little bit. Now I gotta pay like two grand wait, wait, a month. Wait, so uh, wait, does does anyone else in your house pay rent? Yeah. Uh, my uncle, bro, you're a fucking landlord. Myself, bro. yeah. You're fucked up, bro. Let your your uncle just chill. He's trying to do his thing. You're out here charging him for rent. Bro, I gotta pay the water bill too. This is crazy. <laughs> you're like Benice, get out the fucking shower. I'm like, it's <laughs> raining. Go outside. <laughs> Take a shower outside. Oh, dude, your family was like pulled up to the show. That's something that we haven't talked about. Like, your entire whole- family pulled up. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. My that, brother. That, that might have been the last time all the Calderas were out together in one spot. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. They called it a night at the town, man. All the your dad. What did he say when your mom and your dad? I know who. who All the gangsters had an armistice that night. They said no shootings, no violence. You know, we're gonna celebrate this night. Is Louis laughing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. so fucking funny. It was the Thursday truce. Yeah. Uh, what do you call it? <laughs> the Thursday truce. Uh, uh, Vince. Uh, Vince went on stage. He's like, see how we got all these people in here together? It's beautiful. It's beautiful. He's like, but we still made y'all walk through a metal detector because we're not stupid. <laughs> Legit. There was a part because I remember Vince said he his parents hadn't heard the jokes before. Mm, yeah. So was, there was legit. There, for the first show, Daniel and I were like in the back, back where we couldn't see the crowd. We could just hear. Yeah. And legit, the entire time, I kept thinking to myself, "Damn, what if we just hear? Oh no!" And then your dad just like, we have to run out. Your dad just like rushes the stage just and like the fuck yeah. out of it. Yeah. Did, did you see his reactions when you were telling like the SWAT story and like some stuff? Like, I didn't when, see anything. Really? The lights yeah, were like that. Yeah. Tough, yeah. How about the second show with the lights were on a little more? 
Now I can nah, see anything. You're just in the zone. You're locked in. Yeah, Don't I felt like I was on autopilot. Oh, you? I think that's just called like that zone. Like you're yeah. just like uh, you're a, you're fucking like you're like a geisha. You're lo- you were locked in. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like Jordan game six, dude. You were on Jordan game six, or like Tyson round two, or you know what I mean? Yeah, dude. You're, or you're or like Mike, you're one of my favorite Mike. Even even when it felt like we were playing like on the road and for the fucking second show, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah, yeah. you reminded me of Steph Curry out there because you were just draining them. That's a bad comparison. That second show could have done better. The, the, the second show, Vince. I remember you. I was the first person you saw, and you were just like, "Did I do good?" I'm like, "You did good," but these motherfuckers <laughs> on the right. Side, That's I'm okay. like, they were not, they didn't do their part. I wanted to text Chris Estrada, I'd be like, hey, yo, Chris Estrada, I just wanted to thank you so much for coming to the show and not laughing at one single show. <laughs> yeah, he, I, I looked at him and I like, I didn't see any movement that looked like it was indicating uh, laughter or bro, anything. Have you ever seen a bro- he, looked, he kept adjusting his seat, he kept uh, like doing this stuff you ever and seen, then doing that. Oh, the seats are comfortable. I actually, I didn't get to sit down. Have seats. you ever seen the movie A Bronx Tale? Yeah, you know that part where like they're shooting dice and there's like a guy watching. Uh, the, 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 you ever seen a Bronx Tale? Uh, no, they're, no. Like there's a scene where these it's a gangster movie from like and uh and they're shooting dice right, and uh, this kid is gonna roll dice because he's making like the head mob guy money, and then there's a guy watching them roll dice and he's like, wait a second, wait a second. He's like, you go to the fucking closet. He's like, I don't want him to look at that face when he's rolling <laughs> this dice. It's bad luck. And I'm like, I'm gonna get Chris <laughs> Estrada out of here, bro. <laughs> he's like, he's looking at Vince and Vince is just like, oof. You know what I mean? yeah. But no, it was. It was good. People. It's when I the first time I saw Sean after the show, I was like, "How are you doing, Sean?" He's like, "Daniel came up to me after the show and said I didn't laugh once because that motherfucker didn't laugh. <laughs> he was thinking about stocks and shit. Probably <laughs> he's thinking about cryptocurrency, about the microchips, computer, chip chip yeah, yeah. computer chips, and just how to, He's like, if you use this, the vein of the muscle is growing. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> he, know, he, he, does Ultron. Me, yeah. he is old. I remember when he was telling me about how much shape he was going to get in over here. It was crazy. It was that was like the last. That was he's gotten big. He has. Oh, I bet he told me exactly what he was going to do. And I, I was like, I like it. I was like, 2022 is going to be a very good year. And then it wasn't for a while. And now it is. But you yeah. know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> Sean Hackett's a good guy. Yeah, no, he was cool. He's easily one of the best Hackett's. Top, top, top two, two and he's not two. He's top two. And now he, uh, <laughs> D, he's a, you know how I call myself DJ Bitch Snatcher? Yeah. Because I might snatch your bitch. Famously, yeah, yeah. Famously. He's a vibe technician. Yeah, that guy's a bitch snatcher, bro. Oh, dude, I saw it in action. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He at the like, show? No, like at a party. Oh. At a yeah. party. He walked out with a puppet, dude. I was like, damn, dude. Dude, that oh, that's so funny, dude. That's crazy. But he's a he's a good guy. What else happened at the show? So your family, did they, they tell you who they liked? Did they like my set? They liked your set and they, they liked what Luis's they, what set. They say, what they say they yeah, like, I mean, you like you, you told me that they your liked dad your set. I didn't even know who the fuck I was, no. and I lived down the street from him for 20 years. <laughs> that is really funny. Look, <laughs> one time a guy that my dad beat up well, saw him in the alleyway. And uh, he went up to my dad. And he's like, I don't know if you remember me, but once you uh, really beat me up pretty badly and I was sent to the hospital. And my dad was like, no, I don't remember. And he's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I, I did do that shit. How are you? <laughs> Cocksucker. From, from what I remember, it was torture. Your dad uh, had, had fucking zero dark 30 that <laughs> his ass. Sometimes you got to get information out, bro. He, yeah, he yeah. was like, what's the best taco spot of that? Like, <laughs> That's they, how they find out? That'd be the best way to find out. <laughs> they didn't have a fucking, uh, what's that thing, buzz? Oh, uh, uh, like Time Out or like yeah, uh, they didn't have like uh, yeah, Buzzfeed or Time Out back then. They're like, "What's your favorite five cereals? Give me six TikTok dances." <laughs> I like do. twisting your yeah, <laughs> twisting your nipples. Titty twisters, dude. Titty twisters was just was ba- no, 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 no. Don't fuck up the shirt. Now I'd be like, I can take the pain, but don't fuck up the shirt. Yeah, I remember like now you like them. No, no, no. It turns. You know what I mean. I yeah. I remember I had puffy nipples as a kid. <laughs> so like whenever I had a beach trip or something, someone was like, "If you want to get your nipples to get like look like not puffy, you got to twist." them really hard and then they won't be puffy all day so i was twisting the shit out of my you nipples, fucking with me. and i was like damn this shit really did turn purple dude <laughs> just, i called it a purple nurple <laughs> did they did they fix did they even out no nah, i had to get surgery <laughs> had to you get have my, to get top surgery yeah <laughs> <laughs> No, you go. I I thought of a stupid riff. Yeah. (laughs) What if I post up my Instagram? I'm like, guys, hey, I need ten thousand dollars to get top surgery. (laughs) And then you guys are like, oh, really? Like, why am I to get my (laughs) to get your dick set? To to get my haters surgically removed (laughs) from my dick. (laughs) (laughs) And then the the next day, you're like, we have surpassed my goal. I was, I was thinking of a scenario. Imagine a dude who like 
signs up for top surgery. He's like, yeah, I want to get some top. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, $10,000. <laughs> he wakes up. He's like, what my titties at? <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> He's like, y'all at least suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Nurse. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I need a sponge bath. <laughs> oh, that's wild, dude. Um Sponge bath is crazy. I be, I think people are using GoFundMe's too much, man. We gotta tone that shit down. Mm. Mm, we gotta walk it back. We can't have one. Like you can't have a GoFundMe for everything, dude. You gotta get like this shit will make this about to make me have a turn into a Republican with a hard R, bro. I feel like I haven't seen that many couple GoFundMe's lately. Really? Yeah. Have you? It's GoFundMe because I'm sad. That's basically what it's I been do lately. See those, yeah. 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 And it's like this person no, didn't pay oh, their rent. Oh yeah, it's like I'm depressed right now. Here's my cash app if you need some help. I'm like, what the fuck, dude? Like we're all sad. We are all sad, but you could be sad at work. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's where you're supposed to be sad, bro. That's, yeah, that's, where that's you're the source to be, of yeah. sadness. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, people say some shit. They're like, you know, uh, Instagram isn't real because people only post their happy times. They only post their sad times on Instagram. I'm like, yeah, because I don't want to see that sad shit, bro. Never. My life's sad enough. Keep your sad. I don't want to see you be sad. It's a fucking competition now. Look, everyone is competing about how happy they are, right, on Instagram. Yeah. And they're like, that's bad. But the alternative is everyone competing with how shitty their lives are, and that's a way, way worse life. I want like the the way worse world to live in. You yeah, know what I mean? that's imagine, true. Imagine I, I agree with that. People are like, I can't pay my rent. And someone's like, I don't even have a house. You know what I mean? And someone's just like, man, I got my bitch fucking. I still had to go to work. Like, <laughs> that's like, the worst like, bro, you that's, mean that's, that's literally that's eight fun. miles. And someone's <laughs> like, oh, you got me. That's, <laughs> he still had to go to work, bro. Damn. Like, it's bad day. Imagine in an alternative universe, there's like a comic who's going to perform their album and they get their bitch fucked and they still have to go to work and then they have to record the album. You said you were going to go to work and then record the album. I'm like, Vince, dude, come on, man. Vince really is Mexican, dude. You yeah, really yeah. Are. No days off. I, no. I, I called the day. I think I, stopped, I think I still got paid for it, though. Really? That's yeah. crazy. That's, you're a finesser. I, what would what you guys do if I became a finesser and fly dresser? Aren't you already? I think I might be, dude. Yeah. Damn. I might with this outfit. I had an epiphany, right? I was at, every time I go to a wedding, people are just like, "Damn, you look really fresh with that suit, that burgundy jacket." And I was like, "Is this how what it's like to be Vince all the time?" You know, so I went, nice. I went to the mall and I, I, I bought, ball so hard. I bought so chemo. Hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, is that a black, black car? Mm -hmm. And she replied, "Why yes, dude?" But I, I was just straight up swiping, dude. I prefer the term. African oh, I got American a, Express. So I, I, I was walking by. I got roped into one of those kiosks. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. No, nah, but I would, oh, could like uh, it would luck. It they were trying to shut. They were trying kiosk. to. <laughs> yeah, I was like pump, pump, pump. It no, up. we'll do it right now. It look, really it looks like you could get it cleaned or something. Yeah. Now nah, that motherfucker, I was wearing my Jordans. He's like, my man, my man. I'm like, leave me alone. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather go through like ten people asking for change than one guy <laughs> saying, my man, my man. <laughs> What's up with the ones? And I'm like, you're a bully, sir. I was walking through and like the guy saw my off whites and he's like, let me clean those. I'm like, I like them dirty, man. I'm sorry. I kept walking. Really? Yeah. He's like, all right, all right, play. I'll see you. I'll see you. They always got something. They always like sound like they always change their voice too. They like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Oh, man. They always try to get me and I was like, I just clean these shoes. Mm -hmm. They're like, oh, you didn't do a good job, my man. Like, let me do it. You going on a date? You going on a date? Don't ever walk. You going on a date like that? You going on a date like that? Man, what's his name? He said some <laughs> shit like that. Nah, I, fucking, I respect them more if yeah, they do that would, shit. Yeah, they just were just like rude. <laughs> They, I mean, the, but they are rude, but they're trying to finesse. I'm, they're, I'm like, let's say they're being rude, and then you walk up like, all right, what are you saying? I'm like, nah, man, I'm just talking shit. <laughs> I just, I'm just being an asshole. I don't even, I wouldn't even want you to buy this shit. I don't even, you can't even handle this shit, man. You look like you shit well, ain't even out yet. This shit ain't even out. Oh, I'm gonna, did you guys hear the, uh, the up and coming album by Vince Caldera? That shit ain't even in stores yet, and I, I got that shit on my phone. I had, a, I had a, a listening party at Maria's house, man. That's you guys were there. Oh man, I actually heard, Daniel wasn't. Yeah, I wasn't, but I oh, heard yeah, the. Right. Album, the album actually leaked on Datpiff, and uh, I can't. Vince, you should like really you should have a. I book. got that shit on LimeWire, dude. Oh, That's funny. <laughs> I remember once I downloaded Vince Caldera's album Up and Coming. I'm like, oh man, I'm so excited to hear this shit because it's getting such good reviews, yeah, right? Yeah. And I play this shit, and it's like, hey everybody, my name is Vince Caldera, and then all of a sudden I hear, congratulations, <laughs> you have been selected, and I'm like, oh man, again, he got me, he got me, and then I downloaded it again. I'm like, oh okay, I'm so excited to hear Up and Coming, and I download this shit, I'm about to play, and all I hear is you, and it's fucking crank that, bro. And I'm just like, <laughs> that'd be what funny, the fuck, bro. I just want to hear Up and Coming by Vince Caldera. You know, and I feel like this would be way funnier if it had a third song, but I just can't think of something <laughs> else. Uh, you know, either way, the album is very good. I'm excited. I'm excited for it, dude. Yeah. Album release party. We'll have a, actually, we'll have an album release show. 
We should. Oh, oh for we, sure. Uh, brownish. Can I be on it? Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell her. Oh yeah, I'm on brownish, dude. If you if you see me in Long Beach, I'll be in Long Beach. Yeah. The, uh, what are we in July? July 21st. Yeah. I'm being. I'm at. I'm gonna do. I'm, like I'm, I'm unretiring this joke just for Long Beach, dude. The Long Beach. The Long joke. Beach. Oh, you gotta I, do I, it. I haven't told that joke in like four years. Really? Mm-hmm. I thought I just could have sworn I heard Vince, it last week. Vince really says shit like I'm gonna retire this joke, and I'm like, man, only motherfuckers say that. When shit. people ask for the Ouija board bit, I was like, what? That blew my mind. Bro, here's the funniest thing. All right. I think I told you this, but I'll tell the people. Mince at the end of the show, oh, I burped a little bit, was asking That's for. Disgusting. We'll edit that. Vince out. was asking uh, for like bits because he had to like do some more shit like to, for the crowd. And I shout out Ouija board. And Vince is just like, nah. And then I was just like, Ouija board. And he's like, nah. And then after the show, I was like, yeah, why didn't he do the Ouija board bit? And I'm like, I, I don't know. And he's, and Vince, he's like, why didn't he just put it in the album? It's a good joke. And I'm like, uh, Vince said he didn't want to do that bit because he's saving it for the second album. And Al just looked at me and rolled his fucking eyes. <laughs> and oh, was, really? Yeah. That's so funny. And I was like, he's, I can tell he's just like, this motherfucker, second album? This guy. This guy. You know what I mean? They said we couldn't do it. He's like, he's like, I was like, yeah, the VCU, the, the Big Benny Cinematic Universe. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, people are talking. Yeah, dude. Oh, I already. I, I think I know the next venue, dude. Really? Oh, yeah. Dude Square. Hey, you've been telling us this shit. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you should have it at the uh, Peterson Automobile Museum. Yeah, I'll do it in the car. Mm-hmm. And then you get shot like Biggie, dude. If somebody shot at me in, in my car, I'd be so mad. I'd be like, man, I just washed this shit. Like, this ain't paid off yet, man. Yeah, what shit. you doing, bro? That's just crazy. All right, we're about to run out of time. Do you guys have any more closing thoughts? Uh, buy the album when it comes out. Yeah, you know, don't don't just pre-order it and then don't show up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we got name. We're gonna have we're gonna have a name of all the people that bought an, a ticket and then did not show up. We're gonna leak it. We're gonna leak it. We're gonna leak their address like Pop Smoke style. <laughs> all right. Well, I've been Daniel Cabral. I'm Vince Caldera. I'm Luis Simons. See you guys next time.